What's up guys? Future Concept Screencast here. I have a look at Office for Mac 2011. The first application that I'm going to be showing you is Word. And in subsequent videos, I will get around to showing you PowerPoint, Excel, Outlook, and the rest of the uh, Office suite. So right now, let's take a look at Word. Here is the Word document gallery, and right now you're looking at all of the templates that can be utilized, and it's split up by print layout view and publishing layout view. And on the left, bottom left, you also have all the online templates that you may use. So you have quite a few there. So let's get started with just a regular Word document. And as you can see, you have the ribbon layout view that many of you, I'm sure, know from the window side of things. Some of the things to keep in mind is that this version of Office for Mac is Intel only. Um, it's a much better version than Office 2008, in my opinion, because it unifies the user experience across both platforms, Windows and Mac. And the differences, well, there really are, aren't that many differences now between Word for the window for Windows and Word for Mac. Um, this version has over 30 new valuable features and updates. And like I said, it's got that same look and feel as the Windows version. Um, 2008 had that useless elements gallery and the floating toolbox that get, let you gave you access to the formatting tools and like I said now we have the ribbon it's intelligent and it's customizable two very important things everything for word processing formatting options for tables um, if you have any images that you're going to use in your document you have all the tools to resize that image to wrap text around it to color correct it it's all in the ribbon so as you can see right now we're in the home tab and you can actually hide all of the ribbon elements. So if you click on a tab and you click on it again, they're, they're gone. So from the home tab, we have your text, your font, your formatting for the paragraphs, your styles, and the ability to insert a text box, work with all kinds of different shapes. And if you click on Shape Browser, you have these little media box here that there are all your shapes that, and you can sort by rectangles, basic shapes, whatever you want. Um, you have photos that you can take from Aperture and iPhoto and Photo Booth. You have audio that you can grab from GarageBand and iTunes. Your movies and clip art. This working with clip art in 2011 is a lot easier than working with it in 2008. As you can see, there's a lot of things to choose from and all the images are transparent, meaning you know they have no backgrounds, which makes it things a lot easier for integrating with whatever uh, document you want to make. Um, and symbols, you have all kinds of symbols to choose from here, so it just makes everything a lot easier. Everything is integrated into this media box. Um, if you go to layout, you have your page setup options, your margins, your text layout any background that you want to do work with borders you document elements you can insert a page you work with your header and your footer uh, if you have a table of contents it makes things a lot easier to do um, and also you can do word art you also have an integrated equation manager there so if you have any math you know in your document you can build it right from there working with tables, adding a chart, you can add smart art graphics as well. And in the review tab, you can add comments to your document, track changes, works. Um, you can also protect your document. So if you want to put a password on it or any permissions, you can do that as well. So as far as Word is concerned, it's much, much, much better than the 2008 version. And for business users, you also have the option um, 
For getting support for Microsoft SharePoint, you can use SkyDrive to upload a document. Um, you have simultaneous editing, which gives you the option to communicate with others while you're working on the same document and editing it. Um, you also have a bunch of security options, which you can you know, set expiration dates for your document, and you can choose whether the document can be printed, edited, or copied. Um, you have a large collection of professional templates, and not including the ones that are online. Um, working with themes, uh, you can actually change the theme to your page right from here. And then if you have your own unique theme that you created for your document, you can save it and access it if you want to use it for a later document. Um, you also have Spotlight integration, which um, they made it. You can search for a document. So let's say I type that in and you want to search in the document for hello, there it is. It'll find it. And it'll find you know any instances of that same word. So we'll type in hello again, come down here and type in hello again. And if you search up here, there it is, found it. You want to search for screencasts. There it is. So it makes things a little easier if you have, you know, a 250-page document and you want to search for something. Just type it in, and chances are you will find it with this little tool up here. There is also this cool little thing called audio notes. I'm going to show you how to use that real quick. If you go to view and you go to notebook layout. And here you go. It's a new document utilizing the notebook layout. So um, if we type in just as an example, so you have different sections here, you can actually record notes for each instance that you type for each line actually. So, you know, if I want to go down to where it says Ruben, I can click up here on audio notes, record any audio, anything I want to be attached to that section of the document. So, recording and it'll say Ruben. So I'll stop. It recorded what I just said and then you can play it back recording and it'll say Ruben okay so then if you have any recordings throughout your whole document you can click on show and it'll put like a little speaker right next to areas that you've recorded for so let's say if you're typing something up and you want to put an audio note next to a certain section you can do that and you can also if you have the need to ex export those uh, audio files as a separate file so I mentioned earlier that you can upload your document to a Microsoft SharePoint site or to SkyDrive so I'm going to show you exactly what SkyDrive is if you want to share a document with SkyDrive you're gonna go up to file share save to SkyDrive and what this does, it opens up another window, and you can save it to any folder. You can create a new folder on SkyDrive. Right now, there's only one folder. It's called My Documents. Um, but with SkyDrive, it's a free online storage for files uh, hosted through Microsoft, and it's 25 gigs worth of free storage. So it is pretty helpful if you share documents a lot for work or something. So once that's saved, I go into my di Microsoft Document Connection application, and there it is, stopcrying.docx file. So you can add a bunch of different locations through this Microsoft Document Connection. You can sign into SkyDrive from here and connect to a SharePoint site. And from the looks of it, it looks like you could have as many different locations as you want. So, all right. So that's just some of the features uh, included with Word 2011 
for Mac. And like I said, in subsequent videos, I will be showing PowerPoint, Excel, Outlook. So just leave a comment or a request if you want me to highlight some certain features that I didn't get to, then by, no, by all means, leave me a comment and I will try to get to them.